Oh, Sarah. Fine. Not that she's any of your concern. I'm glad you sorted things out with Ethan. And? I wasn't trying to make an enemy of you. I thought you should do what's right, so I said so. OK, well, I'm just trying to have a nice, quiet brew, so... Oh, come on, Debbie. You can't blame him for asking after her. Listen, I know what Sarah did was wrong, OK, but I'd quite like to move on, maybe. Maybe I'd quite like to forget about it. Well, same here. I thought you and me could, too. You know, put the past behind us and, and get to know each other properly. No. Sorry. What do you want? Apart from sticking his nose into my business, not much. Did you tell him? What? About us. Oh, what, because I'm going to tell the family? He doesn't count, thank you. Are you still planning on telling the rest of them? We just need to get it over with. Sarah's my priority, so I need to tell her first. Tonight, I'm going to have a night in, take away, and I'm going to tell her. I need to take it. Can we talk about this later? Before you spoke to Sarah? OK, it's fine, OK. I'll just... I'll let you know when I've done it. A couple of hot chocolates, please, Lydia. You're on lunch, aren't you? You're not having a sarnie? No, thanks. I had chips on the way down. Hey, Sam were telling me that Zach's going to be bringing Jack home soon. I bet you can't wait. No, oh, yeah, it'll be nice to all be back together, won't it? I can't wait to tell Belle. She's going to be really excited. Well, hello, ladies. I hope everything's OK now. It is now, yeah, thanks. And listen, we're really grateful for Ethan not telling the police, aren't we, Sarah? Yeah. And I don't want you two thinking that she's not in trouble. Hey, I'm sure you have your way of dealing with your kids. But if you're after any ideas, we can always use help at church. Really? I tried to set up this youth scheme for disadvantaged kids, but it didn't really go down too well. I should have listened to Harriet. She knew it wouldn't come to anything. But I think if we just do a regular youth club, it might actually take off. That's a great idea. What do you think, Sarah? Yeah, great. Thank you. Well, that was awkward. Cheers for that. Well, need to see him at some point. Might as well get on with it. Yeah, stop rubbing in, all right? I know I've got to make up for it. Listen, you'll forget all about this tonight when we have our night in. What night in? Well, I thought we could get a takeaway, watch a film and, you know, catch up. Yeah, I'd like that. I've got loads to tell you. <laughs> Your knickers on. I'll do it myself later. What's up? Oh, just asked Paddy to clean out the kitchen cupboards for me, but he says he's too busy minding everyone's kids. Charming. Mm. You two OK? <sighs> How do you mean? Well, I mean, that, that sounded a bit narky for a start. Oh, we know what it's like when you ask a fella to do a job. I mean, I want a medal for chucking a bit of bleach down my toilet. <laughs> so you're both OK, then? What are you getting at, Debbie? Well, you know, when you came to Scotland, you said things were a bit rocky. That's all water under the bridge now. You mean now? What's he got to do with it? Well, Marlon saw me and him talking yesterday, gave me a massive lecture. Seems like Al's got a bit of a reputation with the women around here. Has he? Well, yeah, I mean, Marlon said that you tried on with him. Marlon said that? Well, actually, he said that Al encouraged it, but basically, yeah, that's what he said. So did he? I'll talk to you about it in a bit. So how come you ended up staying the extra night, then? Well, he was paying, so I wasn't exactly going to object, was I? Do you want to get a table? Over there? Yeah, great, and I'll get the drinks in. Priya, what can I get you? He didn't encourage it. No. No, it was all me. I was in a bad place and, well, things weren't good with Paddy and I had my head turned. But everything's good now. And all you need to know is that it's history, OK? I love the way they've laid out the candles on the top table. I knew you'd like that. And that bit with what they've done with the wedding favours. I know, it's so cute, the way they've personalised everything. Uh, no, 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 you can't come in here. Um, this is a public house. I reckon you'll find. I can. And uh, this is top secret wedding stuff. You can't see it. Yeah, we're going through ideas. You're going to have to cover your eyes. But I'm supposed to order a drink with my eyes closed. Well, the cafe's still open. You'll have to go there instead. At least then you'll be able to see what you're ordering. Oh, thanks very much. <laughs> Actually, seriously, Ellis, um, I'm glad you came in. You couldn't do me a favour, could you? What? Nip up to the hop and get the car brochures off your dad for me. He says he might be able to get a good deal on that limo company that Kim knows. She's right. We could do with seeing them this afternoon. Yeah, and bring them back down to the village and drop them off at Take A Vow. Please, please. <sighs> Go on, then. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's not like you two give me much choice, is it? <laughs> 
would you two just get rid of one of my punters? He's coming back, I promise. He, he can't see any of this. It's, it's top secret. Uh, uh, I'll forgive you then, just this once. How's it all going? Yeah. Busy. Wait until you see her dress. She is going to look stunning. Oh, hopefully he won't be able to take his eyes off me. <laughs> Him down as Bree is down. Who? Phyllis. He's not. Yeah. When she sat there planning her wedding. Them two? No. What? No, she's marrying his dad. Bree is marrying Al. Debs. You okay? Hey. Yeah, yeah. Fine, yeah. No, I was just thinking, um, I wouldn't put them two together either. Mm. I say a big fat cheers to you. To the dress, to the wedding, and to becoming Mrs Chapman. Oh, thanks, Andrea. <laughs> mm. I am going to have to get back to the office, though, but tell you what, come with me. I've had some more bits delivered, so you can come have a look. Well, I need to make a few phone calls, so shall I follow you down there? Great. Great. Hi. Are you all right? Yeah. Yeah, fine. I uh, hope everything's okay with Sarah now. Yeah, everything, everything's fine with Sarah, yeah. Good. No, I just need to make a few phone calls. Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine. Oh, that's Al. Um, I should take this. I haven't seen him all day. Yeah, of course. I'll get some more bubbles, shall I? Yeah. Hi. Yeah, I won't be much longer. I'll be coming home soon, OK? <laughs> well, someone's keen. OK, OK, calm down. I'll see you in a bit. All right, bye. Oh, what are you doing here? Don't tell me I'm not the only one planning the big day. No, thank God. Is there something wrong, Debbie? Yeah, you could say that. I'm guessing that was Al on the phone. Yeah. You need to stay away from him. I'm sorry. You're worth more than that, Priya. We both are. Okay, um, what are you talking He's about? He's a liar. He's been seeing us both. <laughs> 